Stockton. For more information on The Voice of Stockton, go to thevoiceofstockton.org. The views and opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect those of KXVS The Voice of Stockton or its parents, affiliates, management, and staff. did was we put together an event called so you want to compete Ugh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> and um it was really for people who are thinking about competing and where to get started when i people or women i this one was women based. okay um uh, it was mostly for women and specifically because when i started competing there was nothing out there mm. i wanted to compete i ended up couldn't find anybody in stockton couldn't find anybody in Tracy, couldn't find anybody in Lodi. People kept saying, you should compete, but they wouldn't tell me any information. <laughs> what, what the formula was, yes. you're like, so you look I'm good, like, but you should compete. Like, well, well, who, who yeah. the coaches, who do I talk to? I need some help. Yes, so I ended up getting my coach out of Modesto, and I would faithfully drive every morning, four o'clock in the morning, oh my. to go train to Modesto at 5 a.m. And um, that coach, he was a great coach, but he didn't know certain parts of it too. So. I'm literally on stage the day of, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm my suit from. I didn't know what I was, how my hair was supposed to be. I didn't know that if you wear certain makeup, you get washed out on the oh, stage. Yeah. You can't do your own makeup unless you're a professional at this. I bought a tan from Sally's Beauty Supply. <laughs> Black people need to be tan as well. <laughs> you know, on the stage, I didn't know all these things. Uh, I wouldn't think that either. Yes. I was surprised when my first show that were... But all uh, the black people that were back yeah. there tan, yes. Like, yeah, so, like, I mean, there's all these parts to it. How to walk, how to present yourself, how to do all these things. And I didn't know those things. Hey, Sandy. So, I, um, I went and wanted to do... It was my dream to do a seminar for women around here. People ask me all the time in the gym... Um, how do I get started? So to clarify, people who don't know you, um, you are a mom first, I'm a mom but you first. are also a pro bodybuilder. Yes, so, yes, and, yes. Uh, and um, you have your own gym with yes. Mr. Taylor, Strong Mind, Strong Body. So right. I'd like to give uh, Mr. My Brother from Another Mother a plug. <laughs> <laughs> he always he's, kicking my butt, yes, right? Yes, he's, uh, he's hard at work at the gym right now, um, getting some clients in. And yeah, I am a mom first, you know, before... I ever started all this bodybuilding things. It really was because I was running around and I was doing everything for everybody else. Absolutely. I was cooking dinners, I was running organizations. I my husband would be at work and I would be getting all this list done. When they awoke, I was already awake. When they went to sleep, I was already, you know, I was still awake doing things and I needed something for myself. My friend Amber, she's a rocket mama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I you know, I just needed something for myself. So, I decided to do a bodybuilding contest. Wow, that's and a, did you always train? I have always been an athlete. Okay. I was, you know, I played basketball, I ran track. So what was the mindset? Like, I want to get on stage and flex. I want to show, like, share with, the, especially the female audience, what was, what did I that look like I saw in a you? magazine, like, this lady, and she just was shredded. She, her abs looked so good and she looked beautiful and she looked ladylike, but she looked strong. Mm. And I was like, I want to look like that. The misconception I would like to clarify is people don't walk around like that all the time. Exactly. <laughs> you have no idea that that is a look for a, for a photo shoot or for the contest stage. That is so unhealthy to, no one walks around with shredded abs as a woman all the time. No one walks around with, with you know, just that lean look mm -hmm. all the time. And that is a misconception. Yeah. So as you're getting ready for the show, you got these women that are morphing their bodies and people going, whoa, what, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. And they don't realize that two to three weeks after the contest, they don't look like that anymore. Right. They only look like that literally for that contest. And some of those things that we have to do are not quite super healthy for the contest part, which has transitioned me to the strong mind, strong part. body, and the health and fitness part. And we'll dive into that yeah. here pretty quick. So I had this event where I basically brought in every person that I could think of that would uh, 
be able to share the information that I've been sharing with all my people as well in Stockton because we have a lot of competitors in Stockton. A lot of people that want to get on stage, a lot of people just working out in the gym and they don't know where to start. So that was my um, mindset was to share it with them. To collaborate with the community. Collaborate with the community, collaborate with other contest coaches, um, prep coaches, personal trainers to say this is what it takes. And because I didn't want the stigma of her and Mr. Over there trying to steal people, people's clients and stuff. I brought in the professionals from away from Stockton. Mm. So everyone except was, for one person. That was smart. Yeah, that spoke was not from Stockton. They were from Sacramento. They were from um, down south. They were from Oakland, um, San Francisco, so that they wouldn't have. Oh, anxiety. she's over there trying to steal people's clients. So um, and I let them just talk, and I love that they shared the same things that I had already been sharing. Oh, what's going on here? Yes. Um, <laughs> that I had... <laughs> Somebody's calling. <laughs> um, I, I shared the same things. Um, they, they shared a lot of the same things that I had already been telling mm-hmm. my clients. Um, in the process of that, all these people came together, sponsors. So the suit sponsor came, the tanning sponsor came, the makeup sponsor. suits, for the sponsor. ladies who don't know, are expensive. 500 and, and up, up, it can cost you. No matter more much the you know more bling, suit costs the more for a guy suit. about twenty nine ninety nine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So um, nectar sponsored, Max Muscle sponsored, all Max sponsored. I mean, a ton of people. You had, um, um, Inspire. Victoria's um, Secrets. Victoria's Secrets sponsored. We had a ton of sponsors. We gave bags to everyone who came in there. We gave prizes to everybody. We gave free makeup, um, makeovers. We gave free tans. We gave. Planet Fitness came and donated a bunch of different pizzas. things. Um, pizza. <laughs> you know they, have, Beach, uh, they yeah. have pizzas on Friday. Somebody oh, yeah, told me. They got, they got crazy stuff going on over there. So. <laughs> they don't really like our type much yeah. over there. So. Yeah, lunk, they um, call us lunks. Yes. <laughs> right? So it was, it was a great day. Um, I will say this, though. I would have liked to see more Stockton people. Um, I had a lot of people from out of town that came in. I would have loved to see a collaboration of the coaches. Collaboration over competition? Collaboration over competition. Stockton is, we say it time and time again, they're the training grounds. The NFL just happened and we had two guys from wow, Stockton. And, I know, right? You know, we got CrossFit guys. We got boxing people. We got, I mean, there is a bevy, soccer players, baseball players. Stockton is the training grounds for so many great athletes that come out of here. So... If we could just collaborate more together and do things, when we go to shows, I tell people time and time again, Texas, I've been to shows in Texas, Pittsburgh, all over. They cheer for each other. They celebrate each other so loud. When we go to shows, Sacramento cheers. They don't even know each other a lot of times. They just will, oh, such and such from Sacramento. And everybody goes from crazy from Sacramento. Sometimes we're in Stockton. We, you'll hear such and such is competing from Stockton. And it's a little clap. It's a little clap. And I'm going to have to turn this off. Um, it's, I don't know what that is. Um, it's, you know, it's crazy that we don't celebrate each other as mm-hmm. much as we should. Um, finding, the right, finding the right people. I think what you're doing is, is you're on the right track. People will kind of like, okay, <laughs> we're going to have to kick Tracy's butt. Yeah. You gotta. You have to stop calling. We're live, <laughs> please. <laughs> You're messing up our live thing. I'll call you back. <laughs> um, dang. We're gonna kick Tracy's butt. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, back to. <laughs> oh, so the collaboration over competition. Share with the community what that means to you. I mean, I know what it means to me, and I think I know what it means to you, but I think it would be better if you said it. Versus so where I me. got this from was after the So You Want to Compete, I was a little frustrated. I was frustrated in the fact that um, I had so many people from out of town come mm. and not as many Stockton people Stocktonians? Come. Yes, and I was even more frustrated because but, but these people were... But maybe we're just were, not a we, fit community. <laughs> I think more than anything... Where do we rank on the fit community? We yeah. tend to be... Um, a little nervous mm-hmm. that that the pot is not as big as it is, especially in fitness. We tend to. I have so many clients. A lot of trainers I don't have so many clients. There's so there's enough for everybody. Yeah, there's but like three hundred, almost four hundred thousand people. Yes, here. there's enough for everyone. So I think 
that part of that played in. And then some people, sometimes they just didn't know. I did a lot of advertising, but sometimes people just didn't know. Um, I was a little frustrated. And I missed the women's um, march that they had that day as well because it was on the uh, same day as my uh, event. And I heard part of the speech as someone spoke at the women's march. And what she said was, we need to be more effective and collaborate mm -hmm. over competition. It's about coming together. And right, at, I mean, that was just the thing. That, and that was to Shante uh, McCoy. Um, okay. And she really, really is doing she, some great things in Stockton. And... I just needed to hear that. I needed to hear <laughs> collaboration over yeah. competition, even if that is only me and one other person. If that's just me and you, and we're just, you know, grinding to make Stockton. And a that's why place. I changed the name of my show, Stockton United. Yes, because like it's we so fitting. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's so fitting. It, yeah. We are so fractured in many ways, but we're so many great things that we could build this community up. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. The, uh, I mean, we have some great things here. We have a lot of people. We have to, you know, 80%, 20% of the people are doing 80% of the work. You hear the same names, mm -hmm. the same couple of people in small circles that are doing all of the work. So if we could collaborate a little bit more and get many more people, instead of breaking off, there's 13 youth football teams in Stockton. Every time somebody gets mad, they take their ball and they start a new program. <laughs> so we water down the uh, youth instead of having a great couple of teams. Mm -hmm. We got all these little pieces of a team. Same thing with um, with basketball. Yeah, you've been. Same thing with. Yeah, that's how we gyms. met. Our kids were playing basketball yes, together. Yeah, and then they and My, you know see, they start long time ago. And then one kid is the best, and his dad wants to see him get a little bit more time, and this person thinks that they can coach a little bit better, and they just go separate ways. And now we have a fracture instead of Stockton coming together. There was a crazy flag football tournament this weekend at Edison. And there was like six teams from Stockton there. Instead of being one team that whoops everybody's butt uh, that came yeah. in from the Bay Area in Sacramento, right. there was like six Stockton seven on seven teams. So that is what collaboration what over competition sense. is about. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You also, um, in Strong Mind, Strong Body, I go there quite a bit. <laughs> and uh, you have a a boot camp. Yeah. And your boot camp, it, I mean, it's not like super unique, but it is strictly for women. Yes. And, and what was your thought process behind that? It, I needed women to be able to come somewhere and feel like they could sweat and grunt and, <laughs> and be they, uncomfortable. And they do. They, they yes. kill it. And just like kill it without feeling like a guy was in there and paying too much attention to them mm -hmm. or that this guy is sweating next to them and making them come, feel uncomfortable or looking at them or, you know, some of the movements we do, sometimes we're on the floor yeah. and, you know, we're sweating, we're opening up our legs, we're putting <laughs> this leg up here, we're doing this up there, we're like, what you know, crotch area sweating, boobs sweating, whatever, <laughs> and they just need to feel comfortable, comfortable like they can be. that it's, this is their space. and. My boot camp is so amazing. I literally wake up in the middle of the night sometimes. I did something the other day. They're like, where did you get this move from? And I'm like, I woke up in the middle of the night. And I just <laughs> was like, I need to figure out a never way to hit this part. And um, yeah, those you, women you, are killing it. You, they, they are killing it. Yeah. And, and, and you kill them. Hi, Nicole. Yeah. I mean, I see how they work out. And let me be honest. Yeah. They kill. They kick my butt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, I've they done the it. TRX class with the women, and I'm just like, oh man, I don't know how they yeah. do it. And you can't, you can, you can't beat them up enough. I keep trying to make my boot camp more, um, so it's not vanilla. I don't want you to be able to go to anybody else's boot camp and get your butt kicked like you do at mine. But I you do it with love, it though. And I do it with love. And you, I, you and do. I I'm not to... writing it on the board and going to sit up in the front. I'm right there in, in your in, face the yeah. whole time. And you encourage the girls as they, you know, you see them struggle. Like, hey, you pick it up. Yeah. I, I got you. Keep yeah. going. You're yeah. doing good. But don't go in the light. <laughs> don't pass out in here. <laughs> I had fish today. I don't want to do no CPR. <laughs> go outside, catch your breath, come back. I mean, I'm really, it's not a long boot camp. It literally is 30 minutes and we're not stopping. Yeah. We're not going to stop and stretch and go outside and walk around and get walk. We're going to sweat. 
for 30 minutes. And yeah. every, when I tell you, every class is filled up. I, I'm so amazed. I saw that the other day. Like, I'm like, is that two classes yeah. a month? You're like, no, it's one. Yeah, there's another group but, coming in right after this. <laughs> <laughs> but they all help inspire each other. Yes. That's the collaborative thing that I think people, your group gets yeah. it. And, yeah. um, but it's, I think it's more, we were talking last night, and it's more than just, a workout group it's a mentor yes. program yes so what are some of your your uh ups and downs what are your because not everything is up no you can't have the up without no. the down so what are your no. some of your um some of my downs the failures with people with, have a love for food and they think that because i just went to that boot camp and i kicked butt and i turned it up I and I, my Apple calories. Watch says that I burn 400 calories, then I'm finna go to Chili's and get me a margarita that's 400 <laughs> calories. Or I, like that is you can't the frustration. Out train, you can't out train your mouth. Yes. You I can't. cannot walk around and slap food at your head. They don't understand why I'm doing all this work and my body's not changing. And I didn't get that. Before I started competing, people kept telling me it's in the food. And I'd be like, I go to the gym, I work out two hours a day, I don't understand why my body's not changing. Yeah. And they kept saying, it's in the food. And every day when we end the class, I'm telling them, it's in the food. don't waste this workout by going home and just washing your food. You have to eat clean. You may not even have to do my diet, yeah. but you have to do some type of changing food in the system. Mm -hmm. Our grandmothers, they cooked big platefuls of food. Oh, our mothers cooked big plateful of foods, but we did not walk around with these tires like our children do. Mm -hmm. These, I mean, these children are, they only got, they got stomachs, they got boobs, they got butt, they got all this stuff because of the hormones in the food and because of the way that the food is processed. Mm -hmm. And we're not cooking at home for them anymore. We're feeding them McDonald's because it's a dollar, Taco Bell because it's a dollar, whatever is quick to drive through. We're feeding them all this food that is making these children look like this and the adults, and it's the food is killing us. So my failures are more than anything getting them to understand this about the food. Um, every now and then, what I try to more than likely when you have a gym, you every now and then you have Peyton's place and you got little dramas here and there. So mm -hmm. I break them up. I break the little groups up constantly. <laughs> little clicks. Oh, yes. Good. I make you, you go make work out there. You go work out there. I will switch up partners and say, by the time that we end this class, I need everybody to know everybody's name. And if you don't, we're burping. <laughs> so you know i you gotta know or that tire name. yes Whew, that tire yes the tire so those are little things that are you know we can get over those mm -hmm. things um i have to just touch it on my personal experience i always wanted to compete and uh, i started out slow and i started sticking to the diet and it was the food it was what i was eating <clears throat> and not necessarily what i was eating because i always uh, i ate pretty much the same thing it was just portion right and timing Yes. Uh, turned out to be the main factor, and I, I come in shredded. So I was uh, pretty pretty happy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we've got a lot of those. We got we got, got a bunch some... of people. We got some heavy hitters coming down, and where we what we try to do is not do too much of when their show is mm -hmm. because it puts pressure on them. It mm -hmm. puts pressure on us. It puts a bunch of people coming to the gym going, "Oh my God, when are you going to compete?" Um, so we just always say a hundred weeks out. 100 They're hundred weeks, weeks out, mm -hmm. um, and but we've got some people who've never been on the stage before, and they're coming. We're excited. We've got a lot of people that are coming back to the stage this year. Um, that is not the forefront of our business, though. The forefront of the business is the people who want to lose ten pounds, twenty pounds. The guys you can do it. The challenges, yeah. And, and I've seen it. So back to the boot camp what are some of your successes and, and touch on the mentorship because we, we kind of dove into that a little bit even this week we've got um, the goddess challenge is on the week um, 6 of 12 okay there are one of their challenges this week is to find someone who is in boot camp who is not part of the goddess challenge and give them a note of encouragement a note of inspiration something to say that you see them and you recognize that they're hardworking. I don't want all everybody giving it to the same person. I need you to really come to boot camp and look and watch and, see and pay attention who and see is, yes, see and who's struggling and see who can use the who's there the hand up constantly. Who is helping other people? Who you know wasn't doing a plank now and is able to do a plank drop now? Who has been able to get lower in their plank jacks? Um, all those different things. I can at any time, if I have to go to the bathroom or if I have to help someone else. 
I know who to call on to say, I need you to show them how to do this. Mm. When every, we line up for every station, I need you to show this, you to show this, you to show this. I can at any time pick any of those women out and know that they know how to explain it, they know how to do it, they know how to guide someone else in. Um, if we have somebody that comes in new, I'll put someone them with someone else who's been there for a while. So it's a you pretty welcoming environment, even yes. though. It, Women do that though. Yes. Women are, when you teach a man, you teach an individual. He might show his son. He might show his brother. He may show some other men, maybe, if he feels like it. Because men stand side by side. Yeah. Women stand yeah. face to face. They, when you teach a woman, you teach a nation. She's going to teach her daughter, her sister, her brother, her grandchildren, her grandchildren's children. She's going to pass the information she has to it's every the nurturing person. In them. That's the nurturing. It can have a bad side. It can have a good side. Because when you have um, a woman who is so nurturing, the last person she's thinking about is herself. Absolutely. She, as soon as she walks in, they all walk in with the best intentions. I want to take my body back. I want to lose weight. I want to do this. I want to do that. And then the car broke down. The kids are sick. I got to do overtime yeah, at work. Yeah. My husband said he has to work late, so I can't bring the like all these excuses come because first comes God, like, well, I can't then comes excuses. the devil. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. And I have to, I have to be in the mindset of being able to receive that when it comes and remember that it took me a long time to get there to figure out. I have four children. I had a husband. I have all these different things. So it took me a while to say I am a priority. And I will make time for myself. And so sometimes I it think takes that, other people to Isn't that along. the first thing you teach them? Like, yes. That's you the have first to make lesson. yourself a priority. Yeah. You have to celebrate yourself, hug yourself, pat yourself on the back. Because if you don't, no, how you know yeah. that? How do I know that you're going to celebrate me? Yeah. You don't. Like I, so sometimes when I, when you got to look yourself in the mirror show, and be like, like, I did that. You got to be, you gotta be <laughs> your own hero sometimes. Yes. Yes. You got to be your own hero. So, and when they get that part, that's when all the changes occur. Mm -hmm. That's when everything happens. Is, and I've seen some of um, your successes. Success yeah, I posted stories. some this morning today on my Facebook page. These women and this Goddess Challenge right here, Goddess 5, are incredible. And when I tell you I have a boatload of women who have gone through a lot of stuff. I got some widowers. I got some divorcees. I have... Um, what about that young woman that you were telling me about? Yeah, I got night? a 19-year-old who sure. just had a baby. She's amazing. She was a... You know, she was a foster kid. She doesn't, I mean, when, when you look at her and you think about her, she's 19 and she doesn't, she's not as mature as everybody else, mm -hmm. but she's much more mature than a lot of 19 year olds that I know. And she's been through a lot. So for her to come in there and give her money and say, I want to do the goddess challenge. I want to take my body back. I know I can't necessarily afford it. And then put her around all these amazing women who can help her instead of judging her, right. that's, I mean, that's when the mentorship part happens or it doesn't. Because we can choose to judge and be like, uh, what's she doing here? <laughs> she ain't doing this right. I have to remember where I was at 19. Mm -hmm. When I want to say she's yeah. not doing it right, I have to take myself all the way back to at 19 years old, there's no way I would have went in and gave half of my chip paycheck and said, I want to do this. I want to yeah. do a weight yeah. loss challenge. I want to do a, a you know a program that's going to help me get myself together. So um, so not only are you building people's bodies, you're building their spirits and their yes. their. The divorces their... are the ones that are like hard because they've been through a lot. Yeah. They've been through giving people everything they have, and to what they feel has been they've been let down. Mm -hmm. So um, they're going through a lot, and they usually do the best. Cause they got fire. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> they got uh, other stuff. You know, I'm gonna going to show that yes. bastard what, what he's missing. Yes. Uh, I love yeah. it. Um, uh, and it's just, it's, it's a different, it's a different program. So I'm, I'm really happy about what's going on over there as far as women taking care mm -hmm. of each other. And there's a lot of men there. The men are just, when they come in, they're just like, wow. Cause we, I need to step my game up. Cause, but, well, <laughs> but we see that we like from day one, because we go there over a period of time, and I train three days a week, so I don't see these women every day. Right. And so when I see them, I'm just like, like whoa. whoa. Yeah. Like, <laughs> good work. Like, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Like yeah. It's only been two weeks, and yeah. I, I see a difference. Yeah. When they um, dig in, when they really dig in, and they really trust the process, and just say. And it's the food, ladies and gentlemen. It's the food. Gentlemen. It's the food. And when you're ready to make a change, um, Mr. says this thing all the time. When you're ready to make the change. You will eat a cardboard box Absolutely. to accomplish your goals. 
So when you come in there and you're like, I don't eat fish, I don't like greens, broccoli makes me bloat. Here you go already. You got it. Like a lot of times we can work around <laughs> yeah. a lot of those things. That fish. Yes, but you know that we call it the punk ass fish <laughs> yeah. because you cannot get around the fact that fish is such a lean. Yeah, it works. Lean protein. It works. Um, but we got a lot of vegans nowadays. We got a lot of vegetarians. Um, we have got you a lot of pescatarians. Have you had a uh, a challenge working their diets up a little bit? Yeah. You're not, yes. You know. Because they're slower. Mm -hmm. And when I say they're slower, they're hungrier. There, if you get a vegan in there who's busting her butt just as much as everybody else and really digging in, mm -hmm. she's gonna be hungry, or with not as, if you're trying to pull before. her carbs and 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 manipulate her food. So if I get like what I have now, which is five of them, in a 16 person challenge, I have to everybody's individual. Somebody's mm -hmm. body might process, you know, different carbs different. Right. I might have to do a high um, fats, low protein. Um, I mean, high carb, different, different. There's all kind of different manipulations that you have to do with every single person and see how their body responds. Yeah. So, and then there's a, there's a other ones that I love that are just, they're just their body just wants to eat clean. Mm -hmm. So you just manip you just change up their food a little bit. They stop mm -hmm. eating Burger King. They start eating McDonald's, and their stomach comes down. Yeah. <laughs> stop drinking that soda. Start that drinking that Dew. beer more than anything. Yeah. Then the alcohol yeah. kills them. And we limit alcohol for 30 days. The okay. first 30 days, they can't drink alcohol. And that their bodies will change immensely over just taking away alcohol from them. Before we go into the next, nah, can't even talk today. <laughs> the next subject, we gotta, what's Mr. doing? Because Mr. is the, the male. Uh, Mr. is busy. Mr. is working on his third pro show. His third pro show is coming up. Um, I had to have Mr. get a coach. I was his coach for a long, <laughs> long time. And the last show um, in San Diego, he just was like, because he did so good on his first show, mm -hmm. his head was all the way up here. <laughs> and I was like, dude, you need to get a coach. You have to get somebody who will not, you know, care about you the way that I do. Yeah. So they're going to be just kick your butt. So he went and hired a coach. Um, and they're doing the New York Pro in May. Oh, nice. That's a huge, huge show. And, um, yeah, um, that's a huge show um, for us. Uh, is it kicking on there? Uh, yeah, there you there go. There it goes. Um, that's a huge show for where everything is pro. Sometimes you have an element on a show where they have amateurs, and then there's a pro component So it's in it. all pro it's show? It's all pros. Mm. So he... Um, is getting busy. You see him yeah. everywhere you see him. He was he's he's like, out. my coach kicked my butt the other day. Yes. I'm like, now you know how it yes. feels. And he <laughs> talks to him the way that Mr. talks to other other yeah. people. Like, that ain't what I told you to do. Yeah. Is that was, what I was doing? That? You know, so that's what he was I telling me. I love that day. he's getting he's that. Like, and at the same time, he's got his TRX class. His TRX <clears throat> class is three days a week in the morning, two days a week in the evening. His Every strap is filled up. That's good. Every strap is filled up. And if you want to take your body to the next level, as far as detail, as far as core, as far as strength and just your body, TRX is the way to go. And Man. he is a master trainer at that. So. TRX kicks your butt. Yeah. My first day on TRX, I'm like, I got this. And my brother had been doing it for a lot longer. And I'm like, man, <laughs> he's kicking my butt. I'm like, you know. Yeah. And then he throws in the weights with the TRX. And mm -hmm. people... Um, People who don't do TRX, they don't know. Yeah. Until they, they until look they at them on it. the straps and they go, what the hell? They're swinging yeah. like a monkey on them damn straps. And then the next thing you know, they're locked in. And they cannot get they, around it. Then, so. you, then you do it and you're just like, I, yeah. I admire you for that. Yeah. The other day he had, I think, six guys, three girls in there. And the girls were going to town. The guys are really starting to realize that this is... The, their core yeah. like the trx it's all core so they're jumping in and he's constantly thinking of harder stuff to do uh, yeah. to, uh, to torture take them to the next level yeah so torture yeah so you have a new program with bring uh, summers around the corner and it's called bring the sexy back yep is sexy that what back summer six okay. week challenge so we're only doing the goddess challenge one time this year goddess challenge takes a lot it's 12 weeks it is like day to day, I'm on the girls every single day for 12 weeks, and it's a lot to do. All Personally those things. and emotionally. Yes, emotionally, I literally gain weight during the Goddess Challenge because a lot of these women have so many things going on that I take a lot of what they have mm -hmm. going on and hold it personally. So it's a, I'm not gonna do it um, 
every 12 weeks now okay. anymore. Um, we're going to do it one time a year. This is the only time of the year that we will do the Goddess Challenge all the way until 2020. Um, so in the process of that, I needed to come up with a, some other things to replace it. And the one thing that everybody looks for is they want something before summer. Absolutely. How can Man. I get my body right for the summer? I wanted to. If you're serious, then six weeks is a huge. 45 undertake. days. It's 45 days. You can it's do it. It's a month and two weeks. Um, so at the end of April, we're going to start taking clients down because it's going to fill up fast. Mm -hmm. But um, it's a six week challenge. You will not train one on one, you'll train one on three. So there'll be three people in each um, group. They get a structured meal plan customized for them. Their workout will include um, two other ladies. Boot camp will be included as well. And we're going to do that for six weeks, and it's going to start at the end of April. So um, I really think that they're uh, – and it's and it's That's, affordable. It, um, but it's also kind of, attainable. It's a it's smaller attainable. goal. That 12-week that yes. challenge, that three months, that's a huge commitment. Yes. And yes. I think people could go – I could do three weeks. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Or, and then I mean, you can push yourself for three and, more weeks. Yeah. Yeah. And you um, just break it down because like you look at the, if you look at what the whole thing is like, I have to do all that. Cause yeah. there's, you have a lot of homework. Yes. I mean, soul searching homework. Yes. In the, the goddess, and the goddess challenge. challenge. There's a lot of just, you know, a letter to self a um you know this week they're doing the 7-eleven debacle can you go to 7-eleven oh. after ruining all your food and eat clean like your there? food and spilled you can, out on the uh... yes on the side of the road <laughs> yeah. and now you got to go to 7-eleven and clean up um there is a lot of stuff look at i want you to go back pictures and look at five years ten years um current picture of yourself what have you done what are the causes and effects of this thing in collaboration with the 12 universal laws so there's 12 weeks there's 12 different challenges that we touch on. There's 12 different laws. There's 12 different months. I'm constantly hitting on that number mm. 12 to let them grow. I'm constantly using their astrology signs to say, this is you, and this is how it affects you. A lot of people will say, but I'm under the cross. I don't do anything with astrological signs. You can't get away from who you are. Yeah. You are still, <laughs> you're cancer, and you're driven by emotion. And that's yeah. just, I mean, I get the most out of you by touching on that emotion from That's you. me. Yes. I'm a feather. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, I mean I they you, all Mr. have the different signs. They all have something that's unique from them, and that's how I touch, mm -hmm. usually on that nerve. And that's what I get out of them with the Goddess Challenge. The six-week challenge is not going to be as in-depth, but it is going to be just as hard because I only have six weeks yeah. to push you to the limit. I only, And it's not for everyone. It will not be for everybody. I think it's a more attainable goal. People are like, I can meal prep for six weeks. And if they could hit that six week mark, then they could go, okay, I can yes. change my life. Yes. I've lost 10 pounds yes. just by working out 30 minutes a day. Yes. How many times a week? Two times a week. Two times a week. Mm -hmm. That's all. But mm -hmm. it's all in the food. It's all in the food. It's all in the food. Yes. And I, I, I now can if you eat add my, two more times to that. On your own. Yes. Because you get, when you do a challenge, like when you come train with us, you're, say you, you pay for two times a week. Mm -hmm. Well, your boot camp is included. Okay. That's another two times a week. Now you got a workout card included because you paid for that too. Right. Now you got the workout card to tell you what to do when you go to the gym on your own. You have no excuse. You have no excuses. None. <laughs> <laughs> no excuse. You have no excuses. So um, it's just something that is, we take the guesswork out of it. When you go to the gym, you say, oh, I think I might... I'll probably work on, I think, no, no. there is no, Tuesday, I do this, yeah. this, 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 yep. down the line. And that's the same workout card that me and Mr. have both used to get our pro cards. Yeah, that's There's not a different, we didn't make up a special workout card mm -hmm. for everyone. It's the workout card that will get your body to the next level. So. Absolutely. So. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so people always want to know fitness tips and tricks, but there are really no tricks there's only tips right yes because there's no magic there's bullet. no magic there's pill. no magic pill the magic pill is do your cardio drink your water eat your clean food work out mm. that is the pill that's it <laughs> that's it <laughs> that's there's it. some other things that you can do in there you know some little things some magic max muscle this this supplement blah 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 but the overall thing is Take care of your body. Like your mom said, you are what you eat. You are what you eat. Um, so let's, let's, tips. let's run people through the 7-Eleven debacle. What, what would that look like to you? There's a lot of people 
you could choose to go to McDonald's. You could choose to go to In-N-Out. To me, Chipotle is probably one of the healthiest fast foods out there. <laughs> Even though it's loaded with sodium, but it's real chicken, real pinto beans, and real vegetables. Um, so 7-Eleven <laughs> has really cleaned up their image. They got a bunch of crap up there on the front counter. Cookies and cakes and all kinds of stuff that, I mean, they sell pizza. They do not buy your pizza, your your hot food from a grocery store, <laughs> from a from a fast food convenience store or whatever. But um, 7-Eleven has fruit in there. They has they have hard chickpeas in there. They have hard boiled eggs. They have all kinds of vegetables hummus in there. Diverse. They have hummus in there. They have cheese. They have milk. They have. Um, I'm not one for really the drinks, the uh, protein, shakes. protein shakes. I that you buy from 7-Eleven because. They're already pre-made, mm -hmm. and they're pre-made like that. They have to do something to them to process it, to, to make hold it. it until you get there. The one thing I will say about 7-Eleven is you have to um, look at the expiration dates on there. Um, <laughs> because you don't know yeah. one, you know, this Especially one. Especially the healthy one. food probably yes. tends to sit yes. a lot longer. Than and they're franchised. So you don't know um, who the how long the owners have had things sitting there, how good they are at looking at dates and stuff like that. But they have a ton of stuff there. So what would you do for lunch? Like what would you grab I left, for you yeah, personally? If I leave my um, my food at home on the counter, I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna grab a salad. I'm gonna get a hard boiled egg. I'll probably toss out. I'll probably get two hard boiled eggs. Toss out the egg, the yolks in there. Grab a bottle of water, and a green apple from the Call counter, good. and I'll, I'll make it up like that. Um, they got almonds in there. They've got. Yeah, I don't want to say a lot because um, well, the Goddess Challenge this week is the 7-Eleven debacle. <laughs> so okay. a couple of them have already turned in their, their things. And they've got, like, when Hopefully I saw that a person took a picture of them selling chickpeas in there, I was tripping out because now they're catering to the vegan, the vegan people. Mm -hmm. so, um, so what would you do at McDonald's? Or I don't, I don't eat Burger King, but, I mean, I'll go to McDonald's. I'm well. looking for the most basic Especially at places like that, the most basic. The grilled chicken. Yes. The grilled chicken, Salad. the, um, the salads. Um, the salads are going to be your best bet at places like that. Because mm -hmm. even the grilled chicken, I'm always leery with fast food restaurants. What are they doing to it to hold it until I buy it? Right. Even, like you said, Chipotle. <laughs> it, 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 when it, I make it, rice, it, my rice don't taste like that. Yeah. What did they put in that food? To make that chipotle rice taste that damn good. And why is the chicken so salty? Uh, like, so, you know, lose chicken bowl, I tell them in an emergency, mm -hmm. lose chicken bowl. You can go to lose chicken bowl and get That's a, um, I never thought about like a the, double, the, like a double extra chicken, mm -hmm. no sauce. Tell them rice. half the rice. I always tell them half the rice because I'm going to eat that rice. That rice is so good. Mm. I tell them no carrots, extra broccoli. That's what I get when I go to lose chicken bowl and I have right. to have an emergency. But the problem with that is, what do they do to it? How do they store it? How do they keep it? Right. Cook your food at home. Yep. Cook your food at home. <laughs> Something to think about. So both of our phones are. I, I know, crazy like man, now. like dude. mine's on its last leg now. <laughs> I, I know, like yeah, I've never had this problem before, but all of a sudden it's, it's a storm. my electricity. <laughs> it's my energy. Uh, luckily, I'm we got pulling it. from all the phones. We got a camera going here, so we can get the uh, high definition on YouTube. Right. Um, what other tips would you have for people? Drink your water. People think that they don't have to drink the water. When I tell you people think that they don't have to drink water because it's going to make them heavy. I send my people to Max Muscle to get an in-body. Um, if you go to Max Muscle, they'll give you an in-body, tell you everything about yourself, cost you 20 bucks. You can get how much this arm weighs, how much this arm weighs, how much this, how much is in the middle, how much your body fat percentage is. It okay. gives you a total breakdown, how much body water that you're holding your body. People think that the lower the body, the body, the water number is, the better. Your body can't kick out you're water like, if you don't drink water. You're like, what, 80% water? Yes, yes. And at times, your like, cell functions can't work probably without water. No. People bring the paper all the time. They're like, oh my God, look at my body fat. Look at how low your water is. Look mm. at how the fact that if you drink water, that kicks the water out. You can start if flushing home, some of yes. that stuff out. And if I tell them to go home and drink a gallon of water, they'll come back the next day and they'll sometimes be a pound or two lighter. Just from if you're into that. <laughs> you're like, how do I drink know? a gallon of water a day? Yeah. It's easy. It's, Get up and start drinking that yes. water like it's your job. Yes. <laughs> and the more water you drink, 
the more thirsty you become. Uh, I when know. you're not that thirsty for water, it's because you don't drink enough water. Mm. So that's my main tip is just drink water. My, my other tip is just focus on your core. People do not like to do core work. Um, the core makes you so much stronger. When that core is tight, it, it, it feels like everything else is so much mm -hmm. easier once that, that, that middle is right. So um, get active out there. Just do something. Don't sit on the couch. Do go wash your car. Something. Go wash your car. Fast. Go have <laughs> go have sex. Go go vacuum. Go do something where you're getting active and you're not just sitting there because our children are sitting there just twiddling thumbs all day long. Mm. They can't do nothing. I look at the kids at my camps and stuff, and they're they're just so immobile now. They can't think right. They, um, they're they slower with their reactions. You ask them a question, they have to go, uh-huh, um, because they're, they're, so, they're used to their thumbs moving. Yeah. So more than anything, just get active, get outside, force them outside. Um, as women, the supplements um, are crucial, and you are not unnatural just because you take supplements that are over the counter. I mean, there are some things that you need. There are, I mean, those fibers that you need, the glucosamine, the glutamine, all those different things, probiotics are wonders for your body. B12, when I don't take B12, my body knows it and it feels it. So more than anything, get serious about um, taking your body back. And that, that, that so, so you, your body is your temple. You does, only get one. When does a six-week challenge start? It's going to start. We're going to start pushing out the information this week. I kind of wanted to wait till we got a little bit more. It's for women only, correct? It's, it is for women only. Um, Mr. is going to do something this summer for men. The problem with men is y'all are ego-driven. We are. We are so – men are so ego-driven that – you put them in a boot camp with other men, and if those men are better than them, they will not come back. They will go, I'm going to leave and go in my living room and try to get better and, and then, then come, come back. back when I'm stronger. That's the mindset of but men. I think, Mr. Could, I think Mr. could overcome that. He he has a way. Yeah, he does. He has, this, he has yeah. like that, that uh, yeah. strong <laughs> He knows how to get love. to you. Yeah. Like, he knows how to get to you either – with Mr. You either like him or you don't. Yeah. You're going to either Some days I get don't in like and him. understand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's. Um, I mean, but I love know. him though. Yeah. You yeah. know, that's yeah. the. Because I know he cares, even though uh, he's hard on people. Yeah. And, but he, it's not like because he just wants to be a jerk. It's because he sees the potential in you yes. that you don't see for yourself. Yes. And it frustrates him because you don't see it. And so he's like, Ugh, do yeah. it. Yeah. It's, it's really more than anything a, a no excuses mentality. Mm -hmm. And because we have been able to do it, it's harder for us when people can't, when you show it to them and say, you can do this, and they find, dig in the barrel, dig all the way to the bottom to big, dig up an excuse and say, what about this one? I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear it. Yeah. So I'm a little colder on women in particular because I, I'm a mom. Yeah. I was a wife. I kids. went to, to, you know, I got my JD over here at Lawrence Siobhan. I, um, you know, I put a fork in my husband's hand every night when he came home. I ran, you know, the junior ranch program and the basketball program in Western Ranch. Uh. I did all these things and still was able to get on the stage and compete. So I don't have any sympathy for you when you start saying, I got a baby at home. Really? <laughs> I was a 19-year-old um, mom of twins. So I don't have any excuse, any sympathy for you saying that you can't do this because of this baby or that you can't do you Grab anything. your baby and do some squats. Yeah. The gym opens at 4 a.m. And I know you want your extra little sleep, but that gym is packed at 4 a.m. And usually your gym all opens at four? my um, in shape opens at 4 a.m. Oh, okay. And it is lined up with strong mind, strong body people on the Stairmasters. And, on the, and they come right from there and they come right to our boot camp or they come right to our training program or they come right... So those people have in their, in their head that I'm not going to use an excuse. Yeah. I'm going to go up and start my day. And then they get out of there fast and leave before their children wake up, before their husbands wake up. And the day is done and they're off. They're ready to take their kids to school now. They got their food in hand. It's and just It's just making ready. that commitment. It is making the commitment, truly. So how do so. people find you? We are at 6852 Pacific Avenue, Suite G, 
Stockton, California. We're across <laughs> the street from Lincoln Center. It's a great location. We got parking. We got classes a couple times a week. We have online personal training. We have personal training. It is, unless there's a class going on there, it is um, by appointment only. So we make time. We are working. I was trying not to, but we are literally working like seven days a week <laughs> now. I was trying to have Sundays off, and it's just not happening. Yeah, um, people can connect with you on Facebook they can and Instagram. connect with us on Facebook. We're all over Instagram. I like to do a lot of advertising, but I don't need to because my clients do, are doing the advertising. Okay. They just they do the work, and then people come and say, what are you doing? And then they come Is and there a phone us. number people can reach you at? 209-451-8951. What about That's Mr. A That's There's Mr. a guy. Number. Okay. Yeah. Um, my number is um, inbox me, Facebook me, um, Instagram me, email me at sheisnisha at gmail.com. I'm really quick to answer. Um, 209-242-5837 as well. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Thank you for stopping by today. Thank you, Lance, Appreciate for having us. Your Mayor, next Mayor of Stockton. <laughs> yes, you can with Lance McCann. Yes, you can. Stockton, Stockton United. United. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Be kind to everybody because you never know when you're going to touch somebody's life. And more importantly, you never know when they're going to touch yours. Thank you, everybody, and see you next week. I think I barely.